Welcome back to 800 Hero. Today we're going to be discussing Skyrim VR. Okay, so a problem I had where the clothing options wasn't working on the Oculus for for me. It was because they said someone had said that my mod load order uh I had the CVBE loaded after um right here loaded after TMB vanilla armors and clothes so here's what you do you go to TMB vanilla armors and clothes from your vortex uh, menu that you get from uh you know your, your nexus that you download all your mods from go here you're going to go to manage rules see this will pop up here's what you want to do this is what I have mine on. Okay? So, Caliente's uh, Beautiful Bodies Enhancer. You want that on before. TMD, uh, TMB Vanilla Armors and Clothes. You want that on after. Then, your uh, XP32 First Person Skeleton. Your Crash to Desktop Bug Fix for your VR. You want that on before. And then your XP32 Maximum Skeleton Special Extended, you want that on after. So it's basically, if you read it, it'll read like this. Load TMB Vanilla Armors and Clothes SSE after Caliente's Beautiful Bodies Enhancer. So that's your CBBE. Then, after you do that, you hit save. Now, deploy. Okay. Doing this will and confirm. Doing this will make sure that your uh the clothes is going to so you know the woman will stop wearing guy looking clothes so they can actually have female clothes that look like chick clothes. And it gives you some options to choose from and all that stuff. So they actually look, look like they're wearing women's clothes. So now you have the other problem, and that is that's the Skyrim um, VR not working. Like, it won't load. You'll get that black screen. Okay, here's what you do. I'll help you with two things. So, here's what you do. Go to your dashboard. First thing is you make sure that you make sure you hit this button. Hit run. Hit yes. Before every single time before you start your Skyrim, you need to hit that button and hit update FNIS behavior. Let this run all the way through. Takes a while. It just takes a little small bit. Just be patient. Let it finish. Sorry, I think I, I belched a little bit. Okay, so when you get down here. And it starts blinking, this this uh, cursor blinks, hit consistent check, zero possible consistent issues. Good. Now you just click over here somewhere. This is the part where you need to uh, do something about it. Okay? So, you click these three dots. You hit edit. Let it pop up. Pop up, please. Edit, please. There. Okay. So you see target program files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Commons, Skyrim VR, SKSE VR, dash loader exe. You have that in that line. And in this line, have your program files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Commons, Skyrim VR. Have that there. I don't have run and shell because that's for console. So run detached. Have that on. You hit save. You're still not done. What will happen is that sometimes you're going to have to come over here to mods. And what you're going to have to do is what I had to do. Okay? You're going to have to go and find this right here. Skyrim Script Extender VR. Don't have both of them installed because that won't work. You need, don't have the Skyrim Script Extender 
without the VR one installed because you just you just want the one with the VR. So you got to come here when you see this. You got to come here and hit uninstall. What I did was I came here, I right clicked. What was it? It allowed me to right click before. Let me see. Move, please. Okay, I right clicked right here, and I hit remove. That's what I did. Now, once I removed it, you got to come up here or go to the internet. Okay, go to the internet, re-download it, re-download your SKSE VR. And when you do that, you're going to go install from file. It's going to be in your downloads. You're going to hit SKSE VR. Okay, you're going to hit that, click it, and then you're going to open. And then you're going to install it like that. Okay, so SKSEVR, reinstall that thing. Then you're going to come to your dashboard. Then you're going to exit out of this all over again. Then you're going to hit this. I got this running as administrator, and I have the other, uh, this right here, run as administrator. Just as simple as me going to it, uh, simple as me going here. And then right click properties compatibility checkbox run this program as an administrator. You can run out to hit apply and you hit OK. Now, if you look, I don't have the Skyrim one on here. So the S A S K S E, I don't have that, so it's not on there. So you gotta go here, you gotta go to edit, you gotta click on this folder right here and it brings it right up and as you can see here it is right click this skse loader.exe hit properties compatibility check this box run this program as administrator hit apply hit OK I'll go ahead and hit save so now that's it run this okay you get that little consistency check check that now run your Skyrim All right. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully this helps you fix your clothing options for your female mod, and it fixes... Oh, well, wait a minute. I forgot one last thing. You actually need to make sure that you uh, go to your NVIDIA settings. In my case, the NVIDIA GeForce. Go open this. Because I also had to do this because I had shaking issues or stuttering issues. Okay? I had stuttering issues with uh, with transferring wirelessly from virtual desktop um, to the Oculus. First thing you got to do is make sure that the only, uh, the only bandwidth, the only 5G internet connection is on your Oculus Quest. Make everything else in your house 2G. Your other games on your PS4. All of that. Your phones. Your other computers. Your other consoles. Put all that on 2G and the only thing that needs to be on 5G is your Oculus Quest. That's it. So that handles some of your, a lot of your stuttering issues. Like really, you know, a lot of them. But you're going to have to come here, you're going to have to click on your GeForce Experience, click on Drivers, and check for updates. That's what I had to do. After I did this, I wasn't getting that stuttering anymore. Okay, so those are basically your fixes. Put your Oculus Quest on 5G, bandwidth, you, that's to help fix some of the stuttering. Go to your GeForce Experience, go to your Drivers, check updates, download those Drivers, then restart your computer. That fixes the stuttering. Reinstall your Skyrim SKSE VR. Reinstall that like I showed you. And that will get away of the black screen. And to fix your clothes, make sure you load the TMB um the TMB vanilla armors and clothes. Load that after CBBE by going to clicking on this and going to manage rules there you go and setting yes 
setting this to after. That's it. That's that's it. And make sure you deploy. You should all be good. That's that's it. All right. I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, you know, have a good day. Hope this works for you.